Hi, this is Karen and Mike, and we're at Flash Memory Summit. We're doing a little segment we call In the Hot Seat, where we talk about what's hot and what's not in storage, security, and high tech. Today, we have a special guest, and I'm going to turn it over to Mike for the introductions. Hi, and with me here at Flash Memory Summit is Kobe Hanna. Kobe is CEO of We Been Nano. Nice to meet you, Hi. Kobe. Nice meeting you. So, thank you. Yes, thank you very much. So what, what sorts of things are you announcing at the show? What was your big announcement for this week? Well, we didn't actually have a big announcement this week, but we have here uh, a demo of our uh, uh, neuromorphic uh, uh, capabilities. So, uh, you know, we're developing rear amp technology. And while, you know, the big focus is on getting the rear amp technology out to market, uh, rear amp is really a great technology for neuromorphic. And I guess uh, people are thinking of it as, as the future of artificial intelligence when it'll get to market. So we're clearly uh, keeping our eye on the ball there. And we are uh, working now on... Uh, developing that technology. There's a really nice demo here. It's actually the first demo ever showing neuromorphic uh, capabilities on a rear AM uh, memory as far as we know. So uh, it's okay, very so exciting that's, for Okay, so that's us. interesting. You're doing um, demos all day or, you know, or all, all week or at mm -hmm. certain times people should stop by. Well, we have, the demo is basically uh, uh, a tablet that uh, shows image recognition, so it's it's there all the time. People can walk by and uh, you know try to try on the tablet to write digits, and uh, the system will recognize their handwriting. Uh, so it's it's like the hello world type uh, demo for neuromorphic. Uh, it's it's uh, really just showing the capabilities. But as I said, it's the first time anyone has ever. Uh, has ever done it on a RERAM uh, technology, so it's quite exciting for us. And uh, yeah, it's uh, it's attracting a lot of uh, a lot of interest. People are a lot of people are coming by. Excellent. That, that is very exciting. When you talk about IA applications, what do you how do you foresee this being used in the future? Well, uh, the thing is that RERAM is a technology that uh, works. Uh, a RERAM cell actually works very similar to a synapse in your brain. So uh, it's, uh, you know, if today most of the AI applications are basically simulating the brain, and that is, you know, you require big data centers and lots of power and stuff. If you can emulate the brain, you can do it in a much more efficient way. And that's what researchers are doing now. They're looking for ways to do uh, what's called spiking neural networks using uh, rear AM technology or using all kinds of technologies, but rear AM really lends itself to it. And, uh, you know, we're... Uh, as I said, we're focused on getting our technology out to the market as regular memory, but um, we're keeping our eye on the ball on the neuromorphic side. Uh, once it's ready for commercialization, we want to be there. I was going to say, most of the times when I've heard about RERAM, it's always been in the context of non-volatile memory. You know, So mm -hmm. it, is, it sounds like what you're doing is, is quite a bit of beyond just that, although I'm, yeah. I'm sure it has applications there too, right? Yeah. So... Webit is a RERAM company. We're developing RERAM technology. Uh, over the past year, we've had a series of announcements on the fact that we reached a megabit array, that we reached very good endurance and retention results. We actually have uh, a million cycles endurance and retention even in high temperatures of 130, 150 degrees at, for 10 years. So, you know, we've been focused on standard RERAM technology. Uh, getting that uh, out to market. We were already talking to a, a first uh, potential customer and, and trying to implement uh, the memory for them. Uh, that's obviously, as a CEO, that's my uh, big focus to get to revenues. Absolutely. Uh, but the neuromorphic uh, activity is, uh, is very interesting. Uh, that's the future, so we don't want to miss out once it, uh, it comes. So there is uh, the neuromorphic activity happening more in the background. Uh, is your background in biology, neurology, the sciences uh, <laughs> in that respect? Or do you have people working for you or with you to? Yeah. I, I mean, it's so, very interesting yeah. when you talk about simulating versus replicating, like you yeah. said, how you have to have these big databases to do the AI mm -hmm. applications normally, but this actually yeah acts the same as a brain synapse, mm -hmm. who, how do you know that? <laughs> Where does that technology yeah. come from? 
Well, well, my background is actually semiconductors. I've been in this industry, it seems, for ages, you know, about 40 years already uh, wow. in this industry, uh, seeing it grow. So I'm not, I'm not a biologist. I'm not an, a brain surgeon. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but, uh, you know, we're developing, and that's why we're developing the, the technology, right? We're focused on, on the RERAM memory technology. But this neuromorphic domain is growing very rapidly, and it's very interesting. I mean, uh, uh, it's fascinating, and we're talking to researchers. Webit has actually partnered with key researchers, leading researchers in this domain, uh, from the Politecnico di Milano or from IIT in Delhi or, you know, institutes like that, the Technion in Israel. And, uh, you know, we, they are basically doing the work. Uh, this demo was actually done with Leti. Leti is a research uh, institute in, um, in France that we're working with, and they have a lot of experience in that domain. So we give them our RERAM uh, chip, basically, uh, and they use it as the basis to develop the technology, and uh, it's fascinating, yeah. It is. For, for somebody who is not as familiar with RERAM, and let's say they said, how would it differ from Optane or something like that? What would be your answer to that question? Well, so there are several types of emerging memories. You know, you have the, the PCM, you have the MRAM, you have the RERAM, uh, each one with its uh, strengths and weaknesses. Uh, PCM is more focused on si single chip uh, applications. Uh, whereas uh, I would say MRAM and uh, RERAM are mo more focused on embedded, to be embedded in a system on a chip uh, application. So, you know, if you look at the non-volatile memory space, flash technology, which has been around for forever, uh, it's, uh, it's still managing to continue and grow. It's very strong on the single chip because, you know, now they're stacking it up three-dimensional. And, and who knows how big those towers are going to end up being. Uh, so, you know, there's a, a good solution in single chips. Uh, Optane or, you know, the PCM technology is, uh, is being developed. And, and obviously with the Intel power behind it, uh, you, have, um, uh, you have good uh, good work going on there. But then when you look at the embedded domain, you can't stack uh, flash, you can't do three-dimensional flash in the embedded world. So you need a much better solution that will replace it. You know, flash, people don't expect it to go below 28 nanometers just economically. It doesn't make any sense. So you need a solution for those uh, geometries. MRAM is, is great, but, you know, it has its challenges with being uh, magnetic and so on. Uh, RERAM right now seems to be the, the simplest technology to go all the way down to the smallest geometries, and that's what we're focused on. And Webit, uh, Webit's technology is really more special because it's using standard materials. Most of the new emerging uh, memories are using all kinds of uh, new, non-standard, uh, some people call them exotic materials. Uh, that was a word that was just uh, to my <laughs> mind, yes. Exactly. exactly. So. Uh, yeah. So, you know, those are challenging for fabs. When you come to a fab and you tell them, we want to use silver or, or whatever, uh, this is a big challenge for them. They don't like that. Uh, m most fabs will just say, we don't want to talk to you. We come in and we say, we're silicon oxide, you know, CMOS friendly, uh, you know, no, no problem. And, uh, and that's really uh, the big strength of Webit. So we can go to any fab in the world. And obviously there's qualification, there's a process there, but it's... Uh, uh, it's a reasonable uh, process to get our technology into uh, into fabs and uh, and into designs. From from the standpoint of um, embedded markets, are there any particular embedded markets that you have seen the best traction so far in, or or is this more of a kind of cross-platform play? Well, there are many different uh, applications in the embedded market. I, I started talking about anything that goes down to the small geometries and, and you know, artificial intelligence, we were talking about it before, or, or others, you know, they need non-volatile memory. They don't really have a solution right now. They're using external non-volatile memories. And, you know, that's a very big um, potential market. You have you know, different IoT applications which either need low power, you know, RERAM is a thousand times lower power than, uh, uh, than uh, Flash. So it's, uh, you know, it's, it's very attractive, it's faster, and it's also, uh, 
um, you know, it has better endurance. So there are applications which want better endurance than flash and lower power. So a lot of IoT applications like that. In the case of WeBit, it's also the high temperature. The fact that we can work in higher temperatures uh, is, is another market. So there are a lot of different domains. Uh, you know, there's people in the analog space. People don't think about that, but in the analog space, uh, they need non-volatile memories, and, and Flash is a front-end of line technology, which actually interferes with the design uh, somewhat, or it's, it's more challenging to integrate sure, it in there. Sure. And we're back end of line, it's easier. And since we're silicon oxide, you know, again, these fabs don't really want to invest in CapEx and new tools or, or, you know, crazy things. So it's a good match. And yet they can take that and apply it to many different applications, even those applications that are very innovative today. Mm -hmm. You know, being able to take the product as it is in the meeting the standards, as you said, and not overcomplicating it with something new and unique, mm -hmm. as you <laughs> as the word that you used, but yet apply it to the latest innovations today, such mm -hmm. as AI. Yeah, you know, we're. Uh, I think that's the the strength of of Weebit is its simplicity. Uh, you know, I I ran into one of the. Uh, manufacturers of uh, machinery for fabs here and you know they keep talking to us about hey let's partner on something and then they they actually realize there's nothing to partner with us on because they don't there isn't any new tool <laughs> they need to develop there isn't anything that you know we're kind of uh, you know we're, we're the bad guys for them right because we're standards so. but yet you can still go out and be doing the latest things and then you know Creating uh, using those actually, simple blocks. Uh, yeah, those simple building blocks. Simple is uh, many times is is the strongest thing. You know, simplicity is actually a big strength. Absolutely. And uh, you know, our you you can look at our company also when you look at the company itself and and the board of directors and tell so us on. about the company. We've, tell us uh, about it a little bit. The background. How what what does your board of directors look like? Uh, and you know, how, it's yeah. uh, we're actually a young company. We uh, we started about uh, I guess four years ago. And you know, look at how much we achieved in four years because it's it's simple technology, right? Uh, many of the competitors have been around for for more than 10 years, 13 years, and uh, you know, I think we're we're already in a in a pretty good position uh, versus the competition because of the simplicity. And that's you know, I mentioned the board of directors. You know, our chairman is Daddy Perlmutter, uh, you know, the guy who was uh, candidate for Intel CEO. He was managing all of the Pentium projects for about 20 years. Uh, we have uh, Atik Raza on the board, who's uh, obviously a, a very strong person in, in with a, a lot of history in this uh, industry. Uh, we have Yoav Nissan Cohen, actually. He's, uh, he did his PhD under Dov Fruman, the guy who invented non-volatile memory. So he's been ah, there from day nice. one. He has a lot of technical knowledge. And he's also the guy who actually spun out Tower Semiconductor out of uh, National. And he set up Tower, he floated it on NASDAQ. Uh, he was the CEO of Tower for the first 10 years. So he's, uh, again, someone who really knows the industry from all directions. So, you know, we have such a strong team. Our CTO, uh, Amir uh, Regev, he's been uh, in non-volatile memory uh, for, for over 20 years now at Intel, at Spansion, at, at many uh, mnemonics. So, uh, you know, there's, uh, there's a very strong team here. And people like that come when they see strong technology that has a great potential. Absolutely, the fact that you've been able to attract that kind of talent. So it's a four-year-old company, but the institutional knowledge, the industry background there is decades upon decades of very yeah. experienced and, and very well-recognized names in the industry. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, great. Did you have anything else that you'd like to tell us about this week? anything going or anything uh, coming up maybe in the next month or two well uh, I think uh, right now uh, you know we're in the process of moving from R&D to commercialization we started talking to that first customer they gave us their spec for the memory module and we're working on that now so that's the big thing um, you know the big thing for a company is when you finally start moving into the the productization, commercialization phases, and, and you start seeing some revenue uh, <laughs> out there. So uh, that's the big focus right it's now. Exciting. Yeah. That's great. Congratulations. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you. Yeah, we have a lot to look forward to. Thank, Thank you. you for joining Thank us. You. Thank you, Ankovi. Thank you for having here. me here. Thank it's you very, for, uh, very being interesting. In the hot seat with us. Thank you. <laughs>